Only on 7 a mom outraged and speaking out tonight after a so-called caretaker is caught on camera abusing her son with autism. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead has the video and the family's message to the man now facing criminal charges. Prosecutors say the charges they've just filed involve a helpless victim with special needs being tortured and tormented by someone who was supposed to be a trusted caretaker. This surveillance video taken from inside a Clinton Township home shows caretaker 22 year old John Iverson physically abusing his patient. The victim whom we're not identifying is kicked numerous times while on the ground, leaving bruises all over his body. The victim's mother telling us she was horrified by what she saw taking place over the past several weeks and can't understand why someone would do this. This individual presented himself as caring, as wanting to work in um, the caregiver or mental health field. He harmed my son. He, he damaged our family. The victim, a 30 year old with autism, struggles to communicate. Oh, no, no, no. But you can hear him begging for Iverson to stop right before he splashes cold water in his face. I was just appalled when I saw the level of abuse that was inflicted on him. In another video, Iverson puts ketchup on the victim's head and convinces him he's bleeding. For his own sinister amusement, he then tells him to wash it off. You can see just the humiliation and the abuse of this poor kid who's just trying to get through the day. What's going to be our best witness in this court and our best evidence is the video that we have. Prosecutors have now charged Iverson with third degree vulnerable adult abuse and say the case could rise to the level of a two year felony with a $2,500 fine. He had a criminal intent and he acted on that criminal intent. And now it's our turn to act. I also hope, because I want him punished, that he carries this conviction with him the rest of his life. Iverson was scheduled to appear back in court tomorrow, but due to severe cold closing the county offices, that will be rescheduled for sometime in the next couple of weeks. From Macomb County, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News.